Hello, my name is Shadley here, welcome back for another episode of Curse and Steel, this is Primero Ultimate. In previous episode we managed to approach Paris quite nicely over here, and uh, we are probably going to be conquering at least some of the areas around here today. I mean, we've got some of our artillery in here, well, it's actually mostly air guns. Uh, we could get some of our artillery in here, to start sh shooting into the airfield, to start sort of forcing them out of there. And then giving us a bit more breathing room to actually advance in here. Plus, there's going to be a lot of troops. Oh, wow. Ah, that was a good bombardment there. There is plenty of air force uh, flying about there, but we've got our infantry approaching. And if we can make the area a little bit safer for our troops in the meanwhile, that'd be brilliant. Uh, we've got our troops over here. Let's just go ahead and take these and... We'll try to attack into the military complex here again. Hopefully this time we're going to manage it. That one needs to go get some repairs. Don't know what was it that did that much damage on it, but we can bring in some of these close. Oh, right, we got a port over there. I didn't realize it. Right, these should be bombarding the airfield already. And looks like the complex over there is going down. We are keeping that one at least clear of enemy influence. Uh, the infantry is finally on the road. Again. And then that one needs to go get some repairs as well. It's going to take some tanks from here and go after the artillery stack over here. And I suppose we could also take some of these troops out again from their current location. And we are bringing in a bit of artillery around here to start bombarding the city of uh, Poitiers. There isn't a lot of artillery in here, just uh, mostly anti-aircraft guns. So you know what? I think it's time to start advancing along this front as well. The more areas we can conquer from the enemy, the better it is going to be for us. Are we still bombarding the city there or the complex? I believe we are. And it looks like we've managed to actually clear out the enemies over here on uh, the northern coast. South African troops trying to get in here. There is another village over there which we're fighting the garrison against uh, right now, but... Uh, I think we managed to clear out a lot of the airfield over there, so let's just go ahead and get some more troops across the river. I think we might be able to capture that fairly soon. Well, some of it anyway. And uh, we're shooting down a lot. So how's the losses now? We lost 107 and we killed almost 8,000 units total. So that's quite respectable numbers, I would say. There's a lot of air force in here. So what we should probably do is... I'm going to start moving these air rockets a little bit closer. We'll have a little bit less air coverage in the um, south now. But at the same time, there isn't any airfields right next door in there. Well, I suppose there's some in, actually. Never mind. There are some airfields nearby. Okay, infantry is under fire from the artillery. Well, some of the infantry anyway. Uh, I believe we've got uh, quite a few more over here that haven't managed to get forward yet. The hopefully will be, and the garrison should go down fairly quickly. And since we're not going to be going right next to an airfield, I think we'll have a lot better attacking, or a lot better chance of attacking from this side. I'm just going to send in these tanks to support that as well. So the tanks will take a fair bit less damage, hopefully. And we can start blocking the reinforcement path from here, so they can't flank us quite as much either. Destin had a lot of planes away from Orleans, and the garrisons are now slowly but surely being destroyed. You're offering to buy some consumer goods. Uh, Alright. That's a lot of money for us, so that gives our economy afloat at least. Right, let's send in these to capture the... Oh, right, we shot down another plane, and there is no garrisons remaining in Dieppe. So let's go ahead and send in a couple of tanks there. I don't think we need a massive reinforce, or rather garrisons in there. And so since we've basically kept uh, rowing clear already from any future enemy attacks, more or less, uh, we can probably retreat some of the troops there. Uh, there is still probably a massive amount of air force in Mandes la Jolie. But now, I think it's time to move into the city. We'll have a bit better defences. Although that one needs to pull back. And these two need to go get some repairs. And Pakistan is wanting to buy some timber. Well, okay price. I'll take it. Let's move in the air guns uh, over here somewhere. And the artillery could be moved closer as well. Keep the tanks over here to the flank and we can move the rocket trees closer as well so the more we can shoot down the better it's going to be for us in the next wave of attack 
So that one needs to pull back. I'm hoping that it is actually... Oh, it was actually moving forward, so we're going to lose that unit then. I don't think it's going to be able to move uh, out of there. Especially since it changes which direction it's going, and we've got another tank over here that needs to pull back. Uh, how we got... Right, I'm just going to move in the AA guns to the neighboring hex. And hopefully we'll be able to... Oh, are you going to repair in the not... Oh, right, okay. Maybe I should uh, give you manual orders to go repair somewhere else. Although, I suppose that is the closest area to repair at. You know what? Just keep on going then. Let's go ahead and bring in some troops over here to attack the airfield. We've got a lot of artillery support already reserved for it as well, so it should be fairly quick combat, at least for the airfield itself. Okay, we've got a bit more troops over here that need to start pulling back. I'm just going to pull them back to the rear selection or position over here first before I give them the repair order. Have we lost a unit in here? No, that was just a city capture, but we did lose a unit in... Oh, right, the bombarding artillery. All right, let's just send those to be repaired. That was bringing them perhaps a bit too close anyway. But at this stage, uh, we've still got some tanks in there. I'm going to send in the tanks forward again. Now that we've got more areas that are distracting the enemy, so to speak, we might be able to destroy a lot of the artillery and also make sure that they won't repair in here their planes. Uh, speaking of planes, they still need to pull back. That needs to go get some repairs. That one's already pulling back. We managed to shoot a lot of them down now. So how's the losses looking now? Oh, wow. We destroy another hundred. We have lost another two, unfortunately. Um, oh, right. Yeah, yeah. It's in the city here. But like, we've still got a lot of infantry and we're dealing pretty good damage overall around us. I would say, although I don't think we actually have that much supplies here yet. And we are taking heavy casualties. Okay, we might have to pull back from there soon. It's kind of what I was afraid of that would happen while we attack Paris. But at the same time, I figured we might as well give it a try at least. So how is the military good supply? Mm, it's a decent enough. I'm mean, producing most of what we need. Maybe not quite everything, but enough that it's not going to be too bad for us. Okay, as so we are at least dealing some damage in here. And the planes are being shot down one by one. Oh, that needs to pull back. I think we're going to lose a lot of troops in this attack on Paris. But, at the same time, I actually wonder, if we go ahead and capture that, we can start destroying the garrisons around from the north already, from a second direction. And that should give us a bit more breathing room. Let's start advancing these. These can maybe sit on the base there. And are we actually destroying the garrisons over there? Oh wow, there's a lot of brain carriers there. I don't know if they are actually fighting us. Well, they may have been, but they're not anymore. We lost another infantry. There's enemies approaching, but that's to be expected. But now at least the northern garrisons are going down. We've got some troops over here that we could maybe move in. Well, actually, do we have any more troops that could be moved there? And we've got some tanks over here that could be moved forward. We've got some infantry over here, and I suppose we've got some of the older tanks that we could probably move in somewhere around here. Maybe start attacking, like, to the flank here. So that we're going to actually destroy the characters in Paris. And we'll just advance a little by little in here at this stage. Hopefully we can start retreating our troops a bit more efficiently though. Because it is costing us quite a bit. In terms of numbers. Go ahead and bring in some artillery over here within reach of Orleans. Just on the ball guarding that. I don't think we'll be able to retreat any of the troops in here. It's just too rough a combat going on right now. Yeah, almost 113 already. So it's a bit of a um, rough battle, but at the same time, if we can keep that going, and I will take a Le Havre, that is going to be a little bit helpful. We, technically speaking, could go ahead and start sending some of the these submarines to be repaired first of all. I believe we might have some, actually we don't have any that have been repaired recently, but start pushing the navy over here to reach somewhere over this area. And slowly but surely, if we can reach Calais and then Dunkirk and all that, if we can capture the entire northern coast, then there's not going to be any risk of the enemy ships other than the French ships, and those are not very numerous at this stage of the game. We destroyed most of them. I suppose we could send in a tank in here at least. 
And those are hopefully guarding some of the flank there. We're getting the artillery closer. We're getting the tanks closer. Do we have any more troops in here that we could... I mean, we do. How many? Apparently quite a few, actually. But there's at least two groups of uh, seven tanks. Plus actually these three. So there's uh, at least 17 of the tank units that we can bring closer. And hopefully that will be enough to destroy some of the remaining... Oh, bollocks. We've been surrounded. Uh, first of all, let's get some troops in here to cut off that uh, counter-attack. So that they won't go all the way through. Hopefully. Some of the artillery that was brought in here, we can move those forward. Dealing some damage on the ships at least, so that's good. Um, right, so we are indeed surrounded here. There is a lot of troops uh, on the back side there. I probably should have get some troops in there. Let's just send back some of them and these can be pulled back. So we we'll destroy the garrisons to the north. And uh, the garrisons in... Paris itself have been destroyed, so now it's a matter of destroying the garrison to the southeast. I suppose what I could do is just send some of these in here, and we can send in some of the tank groups over here to sort of guard the flank. Oh, is there? No, that wasn't it. Okay. We lost another two. Mostly in these two, but at least we are pushing the enemy back. That one needs to go get some repairs. And we are now destroying the enemy troops over here. Sort of um, cutting us off from our northern push there. Let's go ahead and start pushing some of these out. So we can maybe start... If we could actually start cutting... I mean, that is a lot of centurions that the British are sending. That will be painful. Guaranteed. There we go. So at least we're cutting off the southern road so there's no Italian reinforcement arriving. And yeah, the infantry is pulling back. They managed to get some more troops in Paris itself. I think if we can get over here into Arganjul, um, we can hopefully um, link up with the troops there and start slowly clearing out the garrisons that are surrounding us still. And keep Paris at least mostly clear of enemy influence. What did we lose there? Oh, it was an infantry trying to get through repairs, it wasn't it? And our tanks are not doing enough damage here. Bollocks. At least that's a lot of planes being shot down. And that producer unit is now no longer a problem. This one can be sent back for repairs. We've got some troops over here that can probably start pushing forward. If we can sort of uh, take the northern flank here somewhat safely. And that's going to give us a lot of um, room to start fighting more in Paris. I mean, we are already in a pretty good situation overall in there. Move those closer. These can probably move in towards Orleans. So yeah, they've got a bit of troops in Paris and a lot in the surroundings, but little by little, we are getting rid of them. Uh, have we got any? Okay, we've got some over here that need to go get some repairing done, and we've got some troops over here that we could probably bring into the initial combats in the suburban region. And if we can take Amiens, that's going to be yet another area where the enemies can't just send in reinforcements because they're bringing a lot of troops from there. Go ahead and bring in some artillery closer, shall we? But yeah, they are landing probably in Belgium, and they're coming in from there. So the sooner we can get to the Belgian border and capturing that, the better it is. But I don't think we have necessarily the troop concentration to do everything at once. But we can certainly gather up a few more sets of units to start pushing forward. Bring another group of artillery over here within reach of uh, Paris. Okay, looks like we cleared out the uh, garrisons in Paris itself and to the north of it. So what I'll do is I'll send in the troops uh, into the next set of troops or provinces here and hopefully we can push further. Uh, these might want to start pushing further to the northeast actually. The reason is simple. If we leave that open then they'll certainly try to cut us off. However, if we cut them off from any of this stuff here then that's going to be better for us. Now, uh, we lost another unit Another tank over here. Oh, right. That's one of the old tanks. That's fine. If we lose some of those, I'm okay with that. But hopefully we can take Orleans. Oh! France is eliminated. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Um, we shall liberate them. The question is, are they now friendly? They are communists. Uh, we'll put in the auto trade. And we shall immediately try to get the non-aggression pact and full transit treaty. They seem to be liking that idea. Uh, maybe line of 
uh, side treaty as well. But there we go. We took Paris and they surrendered. Uh, we might have a lot of troops uh, going out right now. Uh, you are wanting to buy some petroleum. And you are offering to buy some consumer goods. But hey. <laughs> we managed to stop the war. Uh, although you are technically at war still against North Vietnam. But we are no longer at war. So that is going to be lovely. Now we do have a lot of troops in France right now. Because that means that... Oh right, we also gave up the... Hmm. Where did our planes fly? Are they flying... Oh right, they probably went into Algeria. There we go. So did they agree the trade deal already? Not yet. I'm sure they will soon. But there we go. They started the war, we ended the war. So how is the numbers game right now? We've got 26 and the NATO has 65. Okay, that's quite a few. Oh my goodness, we did get a lot of money from... Oh right, a lot of the nations got independence. And then, of course, all those independent nations went into uh, NATO for the time being. Alright, well, that's going to be a lot. Now, can we help Argentina is the next question. Would they be willing to take the full transit treaty yet? They might be. I mean, if that's the case, then we can send in troops there and basically let them con or help them conquer all of South America, more or less. And we've got a lot of experienced troops by now. That's for sure. Oh, another thing that I suppose I could do at this stage is uh, give independence to Mauritania. We shall um, liberate them and make sure to get the non recognition pact and full transit treaty. Probably line of sight and mutual defense, missile defense, maybe even the formal alliance. Right, so the French did take the deals. Let's have a look at what we can do else with them. Is there any... I mean, we can probably do quite a few... Missile defense, mutual defense, criminal extradition, formal alliance. Let's do all of that. But welcome to the... Ooh, right, full transit treaty with Argentina. So how many of the merchant marines do we have in here? Probably quite a few. I'm just going to start taking... Um, I'm guessing this is all merchant marine. Yep. I'm just going to send them uh, into... Onto video. Another thing that we should probably do is line of sight treaty, so we can sort of see what they are dealing with. But how is the nation balanced now? So we've got 27, they got a lot more, so we've still got a lot of work to do. But now we can start uh, focusing on getting some of these nations perhaps back into the fold without too many issues. And also, since we are going to be using a lot less military goods, I mean we're selling some of them. But yeah, we should be accumulating a lot more. Sphere chains, okay, you're not part of water packs, that's to be expected. A little drop, and Taiwan wants to buy some consumer goods. All right, I mean it's a lot of good uh, amount of money for us. But yeah, most of our troops are just leaving uh, France now, which is fine. Wait, why are we taking fire in here? Oh, is it? Oh, I don't know. I'll send these to be repaired. It was probably like a friendly ships firing on the Italians in there because Italians don't have reason to be in. France anymore. So, alliance with France and USSR and Mauritania and USSR. So those are the alliances that we just... Uh, we'll ignore that. So, it may have been the French uh, things in there. We didn't have the alliance quite at that point yet. Uh, we probably have a lot of uh, things in here. We'll just take as much as possible. Um, well, it's all naval units anyway. We'll then them to Montevideo. And let's have a look at the situation here. So, there's a little bit of uh, villages over here that we could certainly help them conquer. Uh, but... Argentina, you are a dictatorship. You are definitely part of the uh, alliance. I could. Would you take a formal alliance? You would. Oh. Maybe that'll allow them to get a few more things going on. So, are we still technically formally aligned with. Uh, we are still formally aligned with Czechoslovakia. Uh, I suppose we could always sell them some. Well, there's not a lot of uh, tech that they probably need, but we'll see what we can sell them. Of course, we could always give them some uh, resources that they might need. But there we go, we've got peace in Europe. Forever. Or at least for the next few months before someone else declares war on me. Uh oh. Since the Soviet players, the relations with USSR and China deteriorate over a direction of communism and Khrushchev's moderate approach to the relations with the West. So they're no longer part of the Warsaw Pact. I mean, they weren't part of the Warsaw Pact anyway. So we can probably still do a lot of trading with them. I don't think that's going to be a bad idea. Uh, at this stage, since we're no longer at war, I think we can start 
uh, reducing the production of units quite a bit. I mean, we still got um, relatively low unemployment overall, massive inflation, and we got a massive amount of uh, military expenditure overall. So if we can start reducing that, that'd be brilliant. Oh, there's still the Argentinian troops over here that we sold them at some point. But yeah, I'm just going to go through quickly through the various uh, land productions. And we can probably stop most of them. Like, sure enough, some of them are good. But at the same time, we can probably survive without it. And that's going to save us a lot in the um, military goods cost on just building things. I mean, we, was, we will still keep the uh, various uh, military bases active. Or land productions and naval production and all that. Like, they won't be building anything, but they'll still be technically speaking active. There we go, a new alliance formed. But is there anything with China that I could form? Are they willing to take any sort of deal with me? Probably not. Not even non accretion pact. So that kind of, um, well, answers that question then. What sort of deals do we have going? So we are still selling some um, metal ore for them. And then we're buying industrial and military goods from them, which I'm not particularly happy about. They don't need petroleum, they don't need coal. They could use electricity, but I don't think we have that much production extra. And they've got pretty strong uh, military, or, or industry rather, not military, overall. So where exactly are these ships heading to? Uh, they're probably heading all the way to either Algeria or somewhere else. The troops in here, I suppose we could start taking some of these and send them into Argentina as well. But yeah, I think we've got a few options. We could help them take out Chile first, so that would be at least one long front away from that. Or we could help them push further in Brazil. Or we could start helping them push further north, but I think it's probably going to be the best for use for our troops to take one of the fronts that doesn't have a lot of action. Um, so either over here, start clearing out of this, like if we can shorten the front, for example, here. Let's get in here, we can maybe push further forward. Or we go for Chile. I think Chile is actually going to be a little bit easier. I mean, th this is going to be tough combat to some degree. Like, there's going to be a lot of units that we need to destroy, and there's some artillery from Argentina over here that is stuck behind the enemy lines due to the lack of supplies. But yeah, if we just bring in troops here, get through the mountain road or mountain passes through here, and then just start taking the town, take out the Chile capital, and slowly but surely allow the Argentinians to conquer everything. However, it's going to take a while for those troops to arrive, so just actually go to fast speed, just so that we can get a little bit faster in there. Oh, and we've got a lot of troops over here. Um, well, I'm just going to send these into Argentina as well. You know what? We'll probably have enough troops to go a bit on both directions. You want to buy some consumer goods? Alright, how much do we have consumer goods, by the way? Uh, we got 240,000. We are selling quite a bit. We're also making a lot of money out of it. Uh, we're still buying some industrial goods. And we're making way too much uh, military goods now. We're going to reduce the production again. Well, we can probably make some money out of them, but I don't think it's going to be that much. And we can start selling a bit more of it as well. But the less we produce the military goods, the, it's going to reduce the cost of production a lot. So the expenses should go down rather drastically. Well, it was 16 million at least. That it went down. So yeah, it's certainly an improvement. Payments over due to us. Taiwan. Okay. Oh, it was just money. There we go. We're making massive amount of cash now again. <laughs> As we're not fighting constantly, we don't need to buy all the military goods that we can. Oh, we're still buying military goods from Poland, though. Hmm. Well, I suppose it gives them money. Which means that we can sell them uh, technology. What about Germany? Um, we could probably sell you something. If you're willing to buy them. But yeah, it's uh, probably going to take a while for the troops to arrive here, and I don't think there's going to be too much happening right this moment. So what we'll probably do is we'll end the episode here. It's going to be a slightly shorter episode, perhaps. Uh, but we'll skip forward between the episodes to the point where we have troops arriving into Argentina. We'll start uh, sort of organizing them a little bit. Well, I'll probably organize them beforehand and then start attacking in uh, Brazil and Chile. And that should be a bit more action. 
But anyway, if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, check out the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, bye bye.